Welcome to Linus Tech Tips. You guys have asked me many times for gameplay videos, so I'd like to share my favorite game with you. Nuts! Hello. I started my stream too early. Do you like my hair? What's some good hairspray, chat? L'Oreal? Because I'm worth it, but I'm not worth it. I suck. So all throughout today's episode, or run, or stream, or whatever, you're gonna be like, Oh, Matt's got a little bit of his hair sticking up. What a douchebag. Ha <laughs> You're in debt. You gotta plant some. This is abuse. I am playing no damage, yes. Fuck off, you psychotic idiot. That's rude. Stalking me again? He dodged me. There we go. Where are you climbing to? Now he's going back. Uh huh. Weird. It's kind of awkward there because I was like straightening myself up as the scene transitioned and then I just kind of froze. Hello and welcome to what is hopefully my final attempt at completing GTA 5 without taking any damage. I have a max HP of 1, so any damage from any source will immediately kill me. I also want this to be no hit run, so Trevor's special ability is disabled. Because while Trevor's special ability prevents you from taking damage, it does not prevent you from being hit by things. I have successfully completed every single mission without taking any damage, I have yet to do it all in one go. My current personal best for an entire run is one bit of damage and therefore one death. Obviously very close to perfect runs, I'm hoping this time I get an actual perfect run and avoid all damage entirely. That's a pretty mediocre intro there, like I kind of slurred one of the... When I said run at one point and I repeated Trevor's special ability twice, but that's okay. It's fine. You guys don't deserve a 10 out of 10 intro, okay? 6 out of 10 is all you deserve. <laughs> so in this scene, g uh, the uh, police can't shoot from their cars because they don't have guns that they can use in such a scenario. But it's fairly easy to kill them. I need to just make sure the cars don't block my line of sight. And to kill these two out here who can actually shoot. You'll see me jumping sometimes. This is because I don't have a, uh, the HP to burn for stamina like I normally do. So this is the fastest movement I can do that doesn't use stamina. Not too shabby. My moustache right now is slightly too long and it's tickling my face. It's quite irritating. So if I fail, just know it's because of my moustache. Skipping over the snow to the right here to put some distance between me and the guys with guns over there. Because guns will shoot me and that's bad. My mother suggested that I should get a Lexus. I can't turn it. It looks like this. It's very blurry, but trust me, it's not that blurry in real life. <laughs> How are you gonna drive it, man? It's so blurry. It doesn't even have uh, any pixels. What exactly do I want from a car? Uh, the ability to travel through time. Is that like a standard feature, or you gotta pay extra for it, or...? I saw this documentary about it one time, Back to the Future. They put in a DeLorean, but I imagine that's not strictly necessary. You have to pay extra. See, they always get you with the fucking fine print, dude. Imagine not having time travel as a standard feature in your car. Shameful. The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? For ten ninety nine a month. Now, friends, you may ask yourself... How it works. This is what makes time travel possible. Say you want to witness the birth of Christ? I do it down here for a buck fifty, down here at Jones, big ass truck rental and storage facility. All the Aussie content creators, are you kidding me? My stream just disconnected. Well, I suppose the recording will still go on, so it's not the end of the world. Hopefully it uh, sorts itself out momentarily. Attempting to reconnect. Attempt one. Attempt better. Stupid machine. I want to pretend like I didn't realize there was a disconnection. Yes, yeah, stream is back, chat. Did you miss me? I missed you for the 20 seconds you were gone. When you, when it came back, you got an ad? Yes, that was my plan, actually. To disconnect my stream 
to make all of you watch another ad to get me ten dollars. Devious, I know. You guys ever seen that clip from? I think it's one of the Dragon Ball Z movies, the dubbed version. It's been recommended to me like nine times on YouTube. It's just one of the androids saying, "Don't you lecture me with that thirty-dollar haircut." I think about that a lot. I know what that means. But it just sounds so funny. It may surprise you given how much I complain about how long I wait at my barber, but I'm charged more than that. You know what I did yesterday though? I actually googled like what to say to a barber and I watched a video and it's like, I, I think I want a tapered crew cut or something. Give them a photo. Hey, I find this guy physically attractive. Can you make him like, well, make me like him, please? <laughs> what I'm going to try and do, though, is approach these runs like I approach Heroes of Might Magic 3. You know? Just don't super overtax myself, don't super stress myself, and still worrying about being entertaining every nanosecond, you know? Wait, Matt, you're trying to be entertaining every nanosecond? You're failing, my friend! So grab my little gun here without being shot. Shoot guy in head, shoot guy in shins. If only every mission was as simple as this one. Shins again. I'm waiting. Thank you. Open this to shoot this next dude. Wait for Lamar to kill the guy. Is he gonna cooperate? He did. Sounds like the man knocked him over there. Ah. Oh. Okay, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't knock him over. Where, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Found him. I won this game of hide and seek. Pain. Now just to find the guy. Oh, there's, uh, there's on fire. Is it gonna explode? Uh. Okay. Don't know what he means about we got the back. I mean, he didn't do shit. I did it. Lamar, that guy on the team at your school or whatever who takes credit for the project that they did nothing in. Am I still breathing? Hopefully. I mean, technically, if I stop breathing, I would have to, you know, then, uh, then I could stop worrying about succeeding in this run. And that'd be pretty sweet. You know, not breathing has some advantages for me that I had not considered until this point. Do I recommend breathing? I mean, 9 out of 10 doctors recommend breathing, so... Unless you want to go with that one doctor. <laughs> Carl Johnson? THE Carl Johnson? Wow. Fictional characters now subbing with Twitch Prime. Just showing how great pr Twitch Prime is. Even fictional characters will become real just to have Twitch Prime. All you have to do is not get hit, by the way. Anyone tell you that you look like Zachary Quinto? And are you going to play GTA 6 when it comes out? Lawful trope. Yes, many people have told me I look like Zachary Quinto. Is Simeon going to be kind? Of course he is, because if he's not, I'll cry. And no one wants to see me cry. Okay, see, Simeon doesn't like it when 30 year olds cry, cry on Twitch.tv. Uh, we've been there before, and we don't want to see that shit again. Thank you, Simeon. Good stuff. But when I bought this car, this this Lexus, it's funny, because when I went in to begin with, I was wearing you know, blue kind of face mask with um, uh, you know, a tank top with a, a black hoodie and black shorts. Uh, there's probably like food stains on the shorts and stuff. And uh, the dude who was who I asked questions of. Uh, initially, he was pretty dismissive of me. Like, he wasn't rude necessarily, but he wasn't particularly excited to see me, right? And so he would answer my questions, and I was nice to him, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, and just give me the information as you as you would. When I left, I went and made a call to my mother and came back, um, and I seemed to actually express interest in getting a car. He, he, he perked right up. I, like, the, the first question I asked him was like, look, if the car gets stolen, like, what happens? Like, I was just interested in the security security and safety features, basically. 
GTA streamer walks into a car dealership, starts asking about car theft. <laughs> yes, very true. So how easy do you think it would be for me to steal one of these cars? It, like, even when it's still in the lot, like how... <laughs> Whoops. Seamen. Car accidents, man. Once more, it's very valuable that it's hard to take car damage when uh, in this game. Is there a high frequency of home invasions where I live? Not conducted by me? No. <laughs> How would I know? Think someone comes by to my house like every day and they're like, Oh man, we just want to update you on how many home invasions there have been in the past week. They're like Jehovah's Witnesses of home invasions. Do you have a few minutes to talk about our Lord and Savior home invaders? <laughs> few. I wasn't late for the death of Jane Norris. Pop! Fun fact though, Michael didn't actually put a bomb in the phone. Lester blew up that guy's head with his mind. It's true. The more you know. So as always here on Daddy's Little Girl, I'm grabbing myself an Uzi to help with the guys on the jet skis. They haven't shot me in a long time, but that's because I'm a badass and the best at this game, so they can't because I'm just, you know, that good. I also grabbed myself a, uh, a silencer for my pistol to help me with the jewel store setup later. Yes, guys, my Uzi. The Uzi, the most weeb gun around. I should move my DPI button. That happens too frequently. Watch this, guys. Watch this. I'm just that pro. <laughs> Perfect accuracy. I need 9,000 TPI. Conflict to everyone. You're having a migraine right now and Oko is really calming? Well, I'll do my best not to scream at the top of my lungs when I take damage. I'm the chillest streamer out there, except when I'm not chill, I would absolutely agree with that. If you ignore all the times that I'm not chill, I am super chill. Here we go again. What? That was awful. That was... <sighs> like, I had it perfectly on his face, and I was waiting for the small delay before it actually started shooting, and then he... then the wave bumped him, and I just... went to shit. How long have I been trying to achieve this shit? Over a year. I started... Uh, March 2020. And isn't it impressive that still... I find new ways to fail. You think this is the run? I don't think it's going to be the run. Because some way I will fail in a completely new, unique, unpredictable way. As it does every single run. Each individual mission in this game. I think if you ask me to do it 10 times in a row without taking damage, I could. Quite easily. Pessimistic? I'm being realistic. I've got a y over a year's worth of present. Of me clearly being able to succeed and the game being like, no, you're not going to succeed today. That's some weird weather. Weather API error. Is that good beach weather? Of all the things that I plan to try when no damage is over, RP is the one that I think I will most likely not succeed at. <laughs> GTA RP is drama crazy? I mean, I imagine it would be. It's... It's kind of simulating real life in a way. I mean, life is full of drama. Like, you you put some people together, and there will be drama. How the drama? Step one, people. Step two. Step three, drama profit. Very true. That is basically all of what you learn doing a psych degree. Wait, what? It is possible to play GTA 5 without taking damage? Yeah, man. What's even more surprising is it's possible to not play GTA 5 without taking damage. <laughs> I mean, if you don't play the game, you don't take damage. It's true. So as always, I'm doing the stealthy, uh, I mean, the smart setup for the jewel store heist, because I can do it without getting the cops. I mean, I can do the setup without getting the cops, of course. I did it again. I, I did not mean to do that last time, sorry. My bad. 
It's a good thing he's forgiving. Oh, he has a really, really thick head and didn't feel it. It's just how I say goodbye. Yeah, I was just trying to, exactly, squish a fly, exactly. I was saving him from death, or at least mild annoyance. Once more, I stealth to kill this terrible, terrible man who puts bugs in people's homes and then pays them to remove them. What a scumbag. Would never catch me doing something that evil. Squish. So I was just thinking of that bongo cat thing from Whiplash. The best meme period of all time, the Bongo Cat era. Meme periods like that likely won't come again. Wow! wow. Tell me, Master, you like chicken? Sure. I know what you're gonna do with this information, but there you go. It is weird sometimes when people ask me questions and I give answers and I'm like, why the fuck did they want to know that? What are they going to do with that information? There's someone out there trying to recreate me in robot form and they're trying to get every single small detail about me right. And so they're using old accounts to ask me seemingly random questions. Shoot this guy when the mission actually starts. Boop. Is that him saying what the fuck that continues after he dies or is that someone else? Hey, it's a trailer! You don't see those very often. It's the same one that you have in, uh, Pac-Man. Wow. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe we're gonna get to Pac-Man. And then everything will go to shit. And I'll cry. It's possible. Could cry right now. If, if I cry, you'll cry. And then there'll be a chain reaction where everyone around everyone will start crying. And so much crying will happen that we'll all drown in the water that will come out. That could be bad. I try not to cry to save the human race now from drowning. Yeah. Hey. Go, go. So as always, grabbing all the money here so that I can afford to buy a car and a bunch of car upgrades and weapon upgrades throughout the run. Ah, uh, she got hit again. So as always, leaving this jewel store, I take a little custom route where there's a small chance that I get shot while crossing a street. To make this chance even smaller, I use something called Old Strat. Old Strat is where you hold down the character swap button on PC Alt, so that the game moves a lot slower and has trouble loading in assets, including guns and bullets. There are some downsides to this, of course. The game moves very slow. I can still get hit by melee hits. Uh, I can't use my gun. I can't change my camera angle. It's hard to drive, but the Reduction in the chance of people having guns or shooting bullets is obviously very good in some scenes. Need to go slow there to avoid that tree. Here is a bit risky because if I go too far left I can get shot. If I go too far right I can get hit by the guys falling off the bridge. Good. I kind of just floor it on that line these days. It's been working for me. So this route I'm taking is the speedrun route. It's just so that I don't have to go underground, but I stay within range of my allies. Because if I move too far away from them, it will mission fail me. So up the end here is where the game expects me to have come out from the tunnel. There are three enemies. I only have time to shoot one. So I shoot one with Franklin's ability. And then I move into the tunnel here using Alt Strat. Again, where the game expects me to have come out. Hang in there, boys. So now that I'm Michael, I go into first person and duck. When in first person to give you particular camera angles, your, the game distorts your body. In this case, it merges me into my seat. But even while merged into my seat, I can still get shot. So I use Alt Strat again. So just being merged into my seat means there's less of me that can be shot, but it's still not perfectly safe. And there's one person here on the left who can shoot me. Not that they ever have shot me, but they might. So I use ult strat here too. And I'm home free. So rather than going to long stretch as I would in the speed run, I'm going to do Mr. Phillips. This is so that I can leave long stretch as long as possible. So Franklin has 
as many weapons unlocked as can be. Because obviously, having more weapons makes the mission easier. I miss doing 100%. It's been so long that I even miss Triathlon 3. That's, that's insane. That is literally insane. If I said that in the wrong place, people would immediately, like, scream and put me in a white jacket and throw away the key, you know? But I do. So to make Mr. Phillips easier, I want to get myself a sniper rifle, but unfortunately, it's not available at ammunition. So what I do is I drive and go get it from the map. I pick it up twice to get 20 bullets. My sniper rifle and my bird guardian, AKA target practice. In bird culture, this is considered a dick move. Nailed it. That was the single most boring thing ever. Haha. -ha. Have you talked about the new Discord logo? Guys, I personally hate the new Discord logo, and I'm gonna stop using Discord because I don't like it. And uh, it's it's shattering my life right now. This uh, multi-billion dollar company having a logo that's different. I just don't know how I'm getting on. And uh, I think I might have to quit streaming and become a recluse because it's just shattered my mind beyond reason. Personally, I think it might be the cause of World War III. We need to find out when they first started designing this logo because it might have been the cause of COVID, let's be real. Basically what I'm saying is I don't care. I, I just don't care. It is... I, I saw a comparison between the logos and I was like, that's, that's basically the same as it was before. And then I moved on. So as always, rather than spawning the enemies, I'm going down here to park my car. There's two things I'm abusing here. The first, when you're in first person and crouch down here in stealth, you have good cover here. But as I said about First person, the game does weird things to your body to give you particular camera angles. When you aim down the sight, the gun is put above your head. So I can get good vision here while still being very much so in cover. But the more important thing is the buffered ledge grab. This enables me to warp away from the enemies very quickly. Hold the perimeter, fuckwits. Daddy's going to work. No one comes back. And that guy got Wait, please. I love that shooting a guy in his foot, he just immediately dies. I don't think I will. So this guy pulls away in his bike and drives away in despawns, so I don't need to shoot him. Okay. Are there any cougars around? I don't see any. Got two cows, three cows, that cow just spawned in. No cougars to be seen. Told you guys, there's not cougars in missions. Nice. Easy. Your cat who is watching the stream? Awesome. Increasing my cat demographic. So here on Trevor Philip Industries, I use grenades to get rid of the first couple of cars. Unfortunately, while throwing these grenades, there is a possibility of being shot, but it is a tiny possibility, so I try not to worry about it. It's also important here to get myself an extended mag for my weapons. Uh, really helps out. I am aware that I could use the thing to buy all the weapons at once, or the bullets rather, but I don't want to. The reason why I'm upgrading all the weapons is because I'm going to naturally pick them up anyway, and I want them to have the upgrades just in case I uh, switch them by accident. I also make sure to break the glass of the window with my gun before I start throwing, because if the glass hits my grenades, the grenades just fall and don't go where they're meant to go. But usually there's some glass left so I can get unlucky. That's a lot of glass left. Did that hit him? Oh, okay. 
I thought the car hit my grenade, so it didn't go where it was meant to go, but it was fine. Okay. Given how many issues I've had with this mission recently, I'm happy this went well. So to help with Nervous Run, I go get myself some C4. I'm actually going to grab C4 twice, nope. just this time, just for the hell of it. Uh, get myself 10. It does hypothetically make things easier to blow up a particular van. Although the van does seem like immune to explosions, it seems to take a little bit of damage, and it's possible for the explosions to kill the guys as they get out of the van and stuff. It, yeah, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Wait a second, but if I grab the C4 twice, my taxi would drive away. I guess it's a small price to pay. There is a feature where if you're higher than the taxi, I don't think you're able to whistle for it. It's in facts and glitches, but I've forgotten the exact rules. See, as you're driving away, I can't whistle for it. I can the second I get down here. Taxi man! Yes, I don't remember all 400-ish of my facts or whatever it is. I can always call another and cheat on my friend, the taxi driver. Oh, shit. Please don't do that. Get my second thing here. He's getting away. No, friend, oh, why? Okay, phew. This may just cause more complications than it's worth, to be honest. Does anyone else see a desync with the audio on stream? Talk more? She sells seashells down by the seashore. One, two, three, four, five. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. At the water tower? Hog. Who doesn't love water towers? Oh, wait, what? I took way too long to shoot that guy. What the fuck? So just like on Mr. Phillips, I'm out distancing everyone so they can't shoot me, but I'm going to shoot them with my sniper rifle because the sniper rifle has a much longer range than any other weapon. Problem with this is they can kind of sneak up on me and stuff. It's kind of nerve wracking, but we can hope for the best. And as you can see, they run kind of weirdly. There's a guy there somewhere. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, where'd he come from? The fuck? Oh no, I've done it again. Oh no, he's, he's coming. So, who was this guy and how did he get so close? Whatever. So there should be one more guy who comes on the left here. Kind of camouflages in, so. Saw the light spawn. There he is. He came out a completely different direction than he normally comes out. That was fucked. So there should be one more person. He should be in here. Unless that dude was the guy in there. If that's the case, I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm very frightened right now. Shouldn't he have spawned? I am 100% dead. There he is. Okay, never mind. It's fine. So one, two, three. So this is where the van spawns. Uh, I've not done this with 10C4 before. So I guess I'll spread them real far out. The goal is either to have the van explode easier, or if it doesn't explode, then at least the C4 will get the guys who get out. I would love to put the C4 over this side of the map, but unfortunately, any C4 placed past this box despawn. So there are two guys here who can shoot me before I can shoot them, and it's one this guy here, and another guy who spawns behind this car. It's very uncommon to be shot though. Guy on the right here, I don't have to touch because he just doesn't shoot. 
I shot a little bit earlier there. Nice. So I can't shoot these vans too early or the guys jump out and that is quite bad. The van just didn't want to explode. You see that first van, how like two shots made it explode and the next one is just like, nah, not bloody what interested me. It's like, what did the C4 even do there for me? I'm just happy the guy on the bike behind me didn't shoot me. It's very sloppy. So taking off here, a random amount of the bikers behind me spawn with weapons that they can use. So I have to use alt strat here and unfortunately they can still sometimes shoot through alt strat. So what I do is I point the back of my plane in the direction of where they are. So if they do happen to shoot, they'll hit the plane and not me. Oh, there's one. Doesn't have a gun though. Okay. So here at the beginning of Crystal Maze, there is a fortunate effect where I'm unable to get a wanted level. This enables me to go to the military base and grab myself a tank and a minigun. I use the tank for this mission and some future missions as well. The minigun I don't use for this mission, but I do use it a handful of times before it actually officially unlocks an ammunition. Okay. Minigun. And I have to collect this three times for extra bullets for minor turbulence. It's going to be in here with these guys for a long time. Got a uniform now. Look at all those stars, man. He's uh, moving up in the world. I so want to punch him. I'm fairly certain I can punch these guys without any negative consequences, but I don't want to take the risk. With everything that I do, there's a possibility that something I don't know could screw me. Nonetheless, I'm going to push this chair into this guy's head. Ain't he pretty? I am pushing him. The minigun has spawned. I'll get you next time. This guy is built different. Maybe he could be the next GTA protagonist. Maybe. He looks too old. Have you seen Michael and Trevor? They're basically ancients. Hello. I have just enough body fat to protect my internal organs. The rest is muscle, bone, and cock. Wow. Inspiration. Good. Uh, tank spawned in a good spot. Uh, whenever you take this tank, enemies around you will aggro onto you. So it's always good to take the tank away from enemies. So the tank has a small weak point around the hatch where I got in. This means that I need to make sure that the hatch is away from people shooting at me, just on the odd chance a bullet will actually sneak through and hit me. So when I get to the farm, you'll see me driving backwards everywhere just to keep the hatch away from people. Die. Michael and Trevor are only 40. Only 40. Everyone older than 30 is like ancient, my dude. Ancient. If you are over 30, you're basically already dead. <laughs> I am 30. I'm not over 30. <laughs> I set the standards of what age is acceptable, okay? <laughs> One year later, anyone over 31 is ancient. Exactly, man. Exactly. No, I have no idea why I did that. Maybe it's because I'm remembering that clip from no, uh, from uh, Chaos where I got hit by a Winnebago. Maybe. Maybe I did it just because I can. Is there going to be Pigo? Uh, yeah, Pigo. Bye, Pigo. Really ruining the days of people in Winnebago's today. You challenge me! <laughs> it's nice not being able to get a wanted level. Boop. Oh. I'm going to stop doing that. 
I swear there was some black smoke that came out of my tank just then. My tank better not be significantly damaged. Whatever happened to respecting the game, Matt? Not giving it an inch where you could get screwed? What's with this fucking around? Just making it easier for the hillbillies. Okay, turning this around to protect my back. I'm too far back now. See how they're all running to me? This is because they don't have a line of sight. That's why I believe there's a gap with the hatch. So they think they have a line of sight. Like I'm actually, I'm actually concentrating quite hard. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to make sure that my, um, my weak spot is not visible too often. So it should be good now. As long as Trevor's not speaking, I know I'm fine. Why can I die in the tank? The theory is that Rockstar made it so the there's a small gap with the hatch so the enemies don't act confused. Like if you're in a building that they can't shoot through, they will run and try and get into the building because they have no line of sight. And if the tank didn't have a weak spot, enemies would be like, well, he's inside a building that we can't get to. Let's run up to it and try and get inside. Uh, the only reason that they shoot at the tank from a distance is if they can see the hatch. Because then they're like, oh, well, there's a line of sight where we can shoot, so let's fire our guns. I, I think it was an intentional design feature, that small little gap, so that uh, enemies would act as they're meant to. Okay. So now I drop off the tank at Trevor's airfield to grab it for military hardware. Hooray, the most boring mission in the game. Woo! This mission, there is a chance, like... <coughs> in this... <coughs> in this... <coughs> in this mission, there's a chance I might die in real life. <coughs> if you die in real life, do you fail the no damage run? I guess so. I did, I overthrew it. It's the first time I've ever done that. I saw the yellow dot disappear then reappear. What happens is the yellow dot disappears when the C4 is in, like within range of the thing, but it doesn't stay disappeared unless your C4 actually hits it. Ice cream time. All righty. Is there any justification for murder? I saw a documentary on that once. It was called uh, John Wick. And basically, if, uh, if they kill your dog, then you uh, can murder whoever you want. I think it's in the uh, Constitution somewhere. Doggo murder. Not, not on, guys. Not on. I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. A fucking newer man. The machines. They're going to take over. They made someone as smart and as brilliant as Wade. You can find Michael in Los Santos so quickly. With that kind of power, this nanotechnology man will rule the world. Be prepared. Next Terminator movie is just Arnold Schwarzenegger being the shit out of Wade. Where's the money? It's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Thank you. Let's go see Davey and hopefully not die on Dead Man Walking. This mission has cost me quite a few runs. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, Mikey boy. Okay. Whew. 
The gun. The guns fire even when the people are dead, so I'm always concerned where they're putting their hands. Move? Where is he? Thank you. It's like that. Oh, he's stuck on the door again. That's terrible. Where is he? He's stuck. Uh oh, I've never seen this before. Hello? He's actually stuck. Oh my god. Ah, uh, the corpse must have stopped, blocked the door and he had to figure out to use the other door or something. I don't know how my bullets didn't hit him, but goddamn. That was not fair. He just blocked the door. He just, he just blocked. You cocksucker. He he can't do that. I can't even do that. How did he do that? Ah, you're dead. Just let me he go. he can't do that. He can't do that. No one can do that. Okay. So it's right and left. Where is he? I don't know what's going on here, but I want to fuck out. Yeah, I agree, Michael. I agree. How did he do that? No, but seriously, how did he do that? Like, I, I, I can climb up here. But he ran up. Maybe he ran up this chair? I know, man. What's that say? Can't read it. Dang. The valuable information it could have given me. Hey, friend, I will save you from life. Grab the gun. Running out of power again. What the hell? Now for the hard part. Okay, I have no ability. So, last time, these guys actually broke. These two guys are meant to run away, but for some reason last time they didn't, so I'm gonna put on ult strat when I get part way across the street here. Oh, and the helicopter's in the worst possible spot. Well, this strat's completely pointless. Look at that fucking helicopter spawn. I said last time the other way was the worst possible he helicopter spawn, but this is definitely worse. And cops can fire through old strat when they're in helicopters. It's possible I might just die here regardless of what I do. I mean, I haven't been shot yet. I did not want to do this in old strat. This takes like 110 years. This did bug once and the car drove backwards. I should be going by now. I had the same problem once before. Oh, the, the lights turned on. The lights at the front there turned on. Okay, we're away. Hooray. Just takes a thousand years. At least we're going forward. That's an improvement compared to that last time. Well, at the very least, when they're behind me, I can take off alt because they can't shoot through the back. As far as I know. Those are gunshots. That's not ideal. So I should be okay, but there's a potential angle that the helicopter could get me. So if I angle myself like this... I should be okay. Oh, I don't like being shot at. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well... My path was blocked off, so I'm gonna put on ult just a little bit longer. Let me straighten up here. That should be okay. Oh, scary. Alright. I can turn the air conditioning up after this. It is funny to wonder, where's the failure going to be today? Are we going to discover that there's actually, like, diseases in Los Santos and I'm going to catch a flu? And it's a deadly one, I'm gonna die from it. Or maybe... 
horses will appear in the game and be sentient and dislike me and punch me in the face. It's possible. At least it feels that way. Because every single time I die, it's from something so outlandishly impossible. I've become so pessimistic towards this series. I could have been finished it six months ago. Am I winning? Has there ever been a time in the history of the world where Mr. Dark Viper has actually won? I'm always winning until I lose the run. Guess you could look at it that way. The glass is half full rather than half empty. I just killed that dog. Whoops. Blimp, save me from my son. No. Can you guys believe it? My beloved son, Jizzle, drugged me. How does Jimmy even know how to drive? He learned by playing uh, GTA San Andreas. Did you guys not learn to drive by playing video games? Hey, where you learn that from? Grand Theft Auto 3. Word, can I borrow that? You got a uh, PlayStation 2? Nah, I got GameCast. Well, there's GameCube and then there's Dreamcast. What you got? Well, I said I got GameCast, oh, man. Oh. Damn, I can't afford it. My bad. I'm just trying to help you out. Oh, mean. Ugh, just stay away, okay? Please. Understandable. I am a half-naked man jumping through the street. I wouldn't want to be near that either. Did you guys know that the FIB is a parody of the FBI? What? No way. I ruined your world? Good. Probably a shitty world anyway. I am Dark Viper AU, destroyer of worlds. Here's a hundred bits, Bash. I always donate when Matt makes me laugh. You don't donate that often. <laughs> Been watching you for about 10,000 hours and it's the first donation that I've made. <laughs> So everything here is perfectly scripted. So nothing is really a danger except one helicopter that can kill Franklin. It depends on how fast they take it down as to how likely it is that I die. You think you're impenetrable? 36 flow. I got What? Huh. I took extra long to reload there. Did he actually fire his gun? You see that body that was kind of pulsing? That was weird. Okay. How fast I take this out matters. Okay. This is terrible. So, even though I have ult strat on here, that guy is perfectly facing me and he's within range to shoot me so it's just random chance if he's actually able to shoot me through alt and I die you think you'd have more things to worry about than shooting me falling from the sky in a helicopter that you'd think wrong okay cool good job man so none of these guys shoot me the only way I could die here is if a random like rocket flew into me which shouldn't be possible, but you know, it is Rockstar. No, he got out of range. He's one shot from death and he's too far for me to shoot. No. Oh, I got it. I mean, of course I got it. So... The plane here is smoking. I'm pretty sure that's because I shot it once with Franklin. This doesn't normally happen. I put up my hand and say, that's my bad. Did I say plane? Look guys, helicopters are a type of plane. Look it up. Now to everyone's favorite mission. Sky in the boss. Yay. Woo. Excitement. Fun. Adventure. This is what Google has to say to you saying that a helicopter is a plane. Helicopters are planes. You, you told you. Right there. See? Th thankfully, Google confirms everything that I just said. Did you guys know 
That heli is Spanish for plane. my shit jokes, I'm sorry. Does Pepsi Max just taste like Pepsi? I've never had it. Describe the taste to you. Imagine the taste of Pepsi, but maxed. Hence the name. Matt, can you please tell me which piece of, piece of taste the best and why I'm trying to decide? Uh, there's this little place in uh, Cambodia uh, on 74th Street, uh, little Asia, a Asian woman there makes a mean pizza. It's the best one in the world. Trust. Trust. More like crust. <laughs> the value of copyrighted music to my stream in terms of its ability to make revenue is like next to zero dollars. The funniest thing was when um, I got an email from, I think it was Atlantic Records or something. And they're like, hey, you want to do some uh, collaboration or something? I can't remember exactly what they asked me for. And uh, in not these exact terms, I laughed at them and said, my, my guy, like, your, your company has been, like, savaging people in this, this industry forever. Why, why would I ever want to associate with you doing what I do for a living? Atlantic Records threw me into the Atlantic Ocean and forced me to play Red Dead Redemption 2. The monsters. Red Dead Redemption 2? God damn. <laughs> and that ocean thing here seems kind of bad as well, but I mean... <laughs> Why did I call the number to start the mission? Am I doing this by the book? That's actually quite funny. I've never heard that joke be made before. Might steal it for the past. In the past, I might use that joke. I'm not going to credit you, though. Time for the Franklin section. Gonna get his car upgraded, grab him every gun under the sun, and do long stretch and hood safari. Is my beard fake? My beard is as fake as Australia. You leave in the stream? How dare you? I should just do something. Do, do that, like, every once in a while, just to freak people out. I see you about to click off my stream. I thought we had something special. I saw orange. Okay. It's the feds. Run. Can I find someone to hit? Perfect. Bah! Nailed it. Say something in Spanish. Something in Spanish. I did that to someone on Reddit, actually. Where they're like, oh, it would make my day if you said hi to me. And I have responded, hi to me. <laughs> Boop. Run, Cass. The cat in my car with the same color. That's a good sign. Now to grab every weapon under the sun, of course, including the all-important flashlight. This ain't new age shit, it's fact. You get what you give, fool. You get what you give, foo. So here we are again on long stretch. These two idiots can handle this first room themselves, but it's easier to help them a bit. You can see I can shoot through the wall here, right? You can do that basically anywhere. If you're a certain distance away from objects, you can shoot like through their corners or whatever, when you're aiming off to the right. You can do it on the left too, which is far harder. The reason I don't do it all that much is because A, I'm concerned that I'm not going to be the right distance away and it's going to block a shot, and B, you aren't technically in cover completely. Often your arm will be sticking out or your elbow, which can be shot. Ah, his gun just went off like 8,000 years after! What is that? Uh, do not want to die here. Oh my god, he actually got that shot off. How close was that? It wasn't that close, but... His walk through the shots is insane. Okay, put these guys through. Oh, 
There were four guys, that was pretty good. Look at that guy's blood over there. You see the guy? What the fuck is that? It's still going. It's a fountain. Fixed it. Go trigger Lamar to kill this dude. Go Lamar. Good job. This shit is over, huh? I didn't get them all, that sucks. So this next room is risky, right? I have to rely on them to clear it. Because there's only like one guy that I can kill safely. There's this guy in the corner here. So for the longest time, I would freely run in there with ult strat and hang in this spot. Until I found out that it's actually possible for me to be shot there if I'm not careful. I still think it's worth moving in there though. But I just have to be more careful about where I stand. I need to kill one more. Please? Okay. So, the few times I've sat out here entirely and not gone in, uh, either Stretch or Lamar has died. I'm pretty sure I need to go in. So I go behind these white boxes, but there is technically a gap that I discovered that people can actually shoot through. See, it's that gap there. Like the gap to the left. See, see, you can see a gap that's through there on the side of the screen there? That's where they shot me through once. They are taking their sweet ass time now. They don't usually take this long. They are getting fucked up something fierce. Ah, oh, this is nuts. There's no way they're not gonna die. How have they not killed anyone yet? This is insane. He's not taking cover at all. Okay, they finally got someone. I do not recall it ever going this bad. Okay, they got someone else. Okay, finally. Okay, they got them both. Hallelujah. 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 Any day now. <sighs> it's been hit like nine times. Come on, man. He's been hit like a hundred times. Finally. That was like 90% bullets by the end. So there's a guy who spawns here that I can kill before he spawns, but it can cause bugs, so it's better just to kill him as he spawns. Straight into Stretch's midsection. Having trouble getting by him now, actually. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, the thing happened. But that wasn't mine, that was his. You know from facts and glitches how having the floating mag thing happen? But I, I've never seen an NPC do it. Mad. Making sure they're actually dead. One lived one time. I heard a gunshot. That was there a gunshot, Chad. Alright. So you spawn this helicopter and move back inside. The tail just barely is viewable here. Okay. So the helicopter that spawns here, thankfully it can't shoot at me. And its existence pre prevents other helicopters that can shoot me from spawning, so I leave it alive. You got a lot of blood in you, Lamar. You okay? So I'm gonna go back and get my car. Do you know if you go in first person, you walk down and upstairs faster? No, I didn't know that, man. I have 8,000 hours in the game and I have been speed running it for six years, but no, I've never ever changed camera angle. Thank you for that information, bro. See what color the cat is today, chat? It's orange, the same as my car. Coincidence? You live one more day, cat. Okay, 
kidding. Okay. Okay. See the helicopter above me just flying away? Uh oh. A little bit of a tight squeeze there. Okay. Time for Hood Safari. Time for endless frustration. Yeah. So here on Hood Safari, the main concerns are that if I don't help Lamar and Trevor, then they will potentially die. But the more that I help, the more risk I put myself in. Additionally, at the very beginning here, it is possible for me to be shot just immediately and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, all good. It's not actually the closest guy who can shoot you, it's the guy all the way across the street. And so now the fun begins. Is today the day? No. So I gotta watch the map to make sure someone isn't coming towards me, and right now there is someone coming directly towards me. They just come here and then leave when they realize they can't get to me. I mean, they could climb the fence, but apparently they just don't want to. Was another guy coming to me? I mean, it does distract them from shooting my friends, but at the same time, like, it's stressful. I'm normally in place to shoot these guys at this point. I mean, to explode them, but... It's not good. He's flashing here, but it doesn't mean he's low HP. It just means the game wants me to focus on him. I got two guys there, nice. Look at Lamar taking cover on nothing. That's because of my distance scanning settings. Remove some objects. I can only shoot some angles here doing this. Okay, one last guy. Oh, he dead. Cool. Trevor bumping is normal. Sometimes these guys spawn, sometimes they do not. They did? Oh, come on, dude. Thought I got shot there. Trevor just died. God damn. Oh, it gave me a heart attack. Ha ha ha. So now I have a chance of just randomly dying here and there's nothing I can do about it. Let's go. Okay, didn't happen. Not sure why Trevor died there. I didn't, didn't think that took too long. I hate this wall shooting fucking thing. They're too close, I think. Oh crap. Thank you, Lamar. Oh, come on, Lamar. God damn. He's still alive! Thank you. He's not gonna kill that guy, is he? Is he gonna kill the guy? Kill him? Kill him? He didn't die. He died? Hope he died. He lived. Oh crap. Okay. It's right there. There's one near two. He's dead, just one more. Oh god, it's so stressful. Oh god. So it's gonna be intentional fail here, guys. To warp everyone towards me. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put C4 on Lamar's jet ski so I can blow him up to despawn the cops. Lamar shouldn't be a concern, uh, the, the cops shouldn't be a concern, but just in case they are, you know. Better to be safe than sorry. The car that spawns on the side here. That was weird how long that took, but okay. So then what I'm going to be doing here is with a minigun, moving ever so slightly into their range, shooting their tail, and then moving out of their range. Okay. 
So I've never been shot by the guys on the side here, but there's always been some reality when that they do shoot me. So I'm going to do is use ult strat here. I think I've seen like one bullet they fired fly near me at one point, so. What is that spawn? Uh, there's a bridge in the way though, so they shouldn't well, they're gonna they're gonna move away from the bridge. What the fuck is? Split, my nigga, and keep our hands down. I don't think it's worth the risk of not holding alt. What is that spawn? I've never seen that before in my life. And Franklin's next to me here. Is he gonna hit me off the jet ski? I think I'm out of their range. Think, you know. But given that they haven't lost sight of me, it should be uh, the, the, okay. Okay, lost sight of me. Okay. Okay, that was. Weird. Oh, and the helicopter was going in the complete opposite direction to me. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Is this going for me? It's meant to go on for Lamar. What the- what the fuck? What the fuck is he put up? What? No, no. Stop, 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 stop! Okay, we're lucky you couldn't see me. The fuck are these spawns? Okay, nothing in this game makes sense right now. Nothing. We're free, guys. We're free. Still better than last time. For those who weren't here last time, I would say look up that footage, but don't. Don't. What do I think when I do Oko? I think, oh my god, I'm gonna fail. Failure's imminence. Then I'm gonna be really sad. Oh no. How am I gonna live with my impending failure? Why am I so pessimistic? I've been doing this for like a year and a half, my dude, and I've seen this being stolen from me so many times. I have every right to be the biggest pessimist on the fucking planet. I like your style, young man. Th thank you. People dig the tank top lifestyle, I guess. Pillbox hill. Second time that's been a close call coming here. Oh, uh, well, I accidentally gave him a hoodie, I guess. Sweet. Maybe I'll succeed now. The hoodie will give me special powers. So while Meriwether has been solved, every time I think of it as solved, I seem to fail. So I will treat it with the respect that it deserves. So this first scene is completely trivial because Franklin can just kill everyone. Okay, that should be everyone dead. Thank you, Rockstar Games, for the $50. We're releasing a patch tomorrow that fixes every bug in GTA 5 and introduces smart AI that doesn't get stuck. I know everyone has been looking forward to a game without exploitable glitches. Enjoy. Well, thank you, Rockstar Games, both $50 and for your commitments to uh, removing those bugs. Thank you. So for this next scene, basically the secret is anyone who's behind these boxes, or a little bit before, like about here, behind, their bullets can't reach me because it's past their maximum range. So the bullets, bullets literally disappear from the air. So I can ignore anyone who's past that point and focus on those who matter. Additionally, I need to not shoot the drivers of cars. If I shoot the drivers of cars, then they get, the other people get out and they start shooting at me. The longer the driver remains alive, the longer I have to kill everyone else. Impossible. Impossible. I'm dead. I'm dead. But, but how'd the shots miss? Like, the, the shots pass through the car completely. How could I, how could all three shots go through and hit no one? Can I, can I get a clip? Like how? Like, none of them got hit. None of them. Not even one. A, a pinky. A toe. They die. Because straight between them all. 
So the bullet hits here, going in this direction with two guys in the back seat. How does that not hit either? How is that possible? Like, you couldn't do that if you wanted to. Like, you really couldn't. Like, the space between these guys is like millimeters, dude. <laughs> when you include their legs. Impossible. Yeah, I agree. That is impossible. Oh, come on. That just grazes the edge. Because it swerves. So finally get one. Oh, come on, man. Oh, get... How does that not hit him? How does that not hit him? Or even the other guy behind him. Look at the glass shatter. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Like, his, his arm moves. Like, like see, he's still in target. And then, like, just go a frame. And the very first shot. The very first one with 110% accuracy at the max distance. So this guy here was not in range to hit me. It was just this guy. This guy had exactly one bullet to kill me. Exactly one. And he got it. Each of those shots missed by a pixel. I am 10,000 miles away and the car is moving. And I am trying not to hit a driver. Not only am I trying to hit people, I'm trying to avoid someone as well. While it's moving at an angle. What floors me isn't that I missed. It's that all three missed by a pixel. Sick, tired, doesn't matter. I just fucking do the runs and it just never rewarded. It's just... I just I just want to fail in a way that doesn't seem like bullshit. So, for those who don't know, I have Hashimoto's disease. So what this basically is, my immune system attacks my thyroid. I get fatigue and feel like shit. And I've got this drug that gives me extra. And so, if I feel like shit, and I have fatigue, I'm like, have I taken too much of this drug? Or have I taken too little of this drug? And I don't know. It's very stressful. Why am I ill? I just fucking explained. I just, I just explained. What do you mean? What? What? God damn it. What do you call a weed eater whacker in Australia? Whippersnipper. You mean this, right? Yeah, it's a weird name. Why would you call it a whippersnipper? What the fuck is a whipper and why are you snipping it? New problem, I left my PC going last night, and that means this room is fucking hot. I opened up my window, it was so hot. And then I uh, nursed a lot of spiderwebs there, so I uh, sprayed a bunch of, like, stuff that kills spiders. And they call it fly spray, but if I'm using it for the purposes of killing spiders, I mean, it should be spider spray. Because it's not one of those aerosol cans, it's like one of those things that's a, a big thing and you squeeze it and then the, the water kind of spits out. I, I don't know, man. It's a spider killer hose. <laughs> I have successfully completed every single mission without taking any damage. I just have yet to do it all in one go. My current personal best isn't. Let's take from the top. Let us take it from the top. I didn't start the timer. I mean, I knew I didn't start the time, that's why I fucked up with the intro, you see, because I had to reset anyway, you know? I was intentionally being funny, as opposed to unintentionally, which is what is normal. Skipping over the right here, over the snow, to put some distance between me and the roadblock, so they are less likely to shoot me. Obviously, you didn't want to hit this, but uh, it happened, so I'm going to move on with it. <laughs> no, I'm done. Next day, I'm having a guy come around and take all my garbage. Because I bought a car, I'm actually going to be using my garage to store my car. I have a vacuum cleaner. It's an amazing vacuum cleaner. It's just... There's only so much time I dedicate to cleaning. I am a vacuum, that is true. I do do a lot of sucking in all aspects of my life. What? What? For those who never notice, Lamar does give Franklin the finger there. I mean, everyone's just focusing on Franklin as he says what? You know, they added a bunch more difficult things uh, for the max difficulty. Nice. At least I landed on my tires. Keep in mind, it is quite hard to take damage while you're in a car. And for that, I am very happy. Do I want your dog? Yes and no. 
get a pet spider. I have thought about getting more unorthodox pets. I don't want to get myself, like, the worry with getting a Shiba or something or a Samoyed is that I'll get a dog that's smarter than me. <laughs> Man, my voice is still fucked. Is it bad to listen to, Chad? You're like, oh my god, your voice is putting glass in my ears. Literally, I'm bleeding, help. What anime do I recommend? Good anime. Highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's far better than the alternative. Sneaking again. The greatest stealth mechanics of any game in history. Bang. Do I have a suppressor? I do. Did you miss me buying it? Can't believe you missed it. It's like the funnest thing. Buying a suppressor. Wow. So as always, taking all the money so that I can buy myself a car and get weapon and car upgrades throughout the run. In general, guys, if you are doing a heist though, I highly recommend not taking all the money because it will take too long and you'll get caught. This is just some friendly advice from your, your good friend Dark Viper. You know, I just, just don't want to set a bad example for the kids, you know what I'm saying? Is this a replay from a YouTube video? <laughs> I guess it could feel that way sometimes. Am I up early? It's midday. What? My good old sniper rifle guarded by the bird who is now run out of uses. Ah. Oh. Okay, he survived. I'll let him go, chat. Kill that one though. It's funny though, like, doing this is so dumb, because there's like a, there's a prison right there. Could get the cops on me. When I did it the first time, didn't even think about it. Move away from the spawn point. This, this, being close to the spawn point does not stop the gun from spawning. We're gonna test it right now. Science. There you go, see, told you. If anything, that seemed to have spawned faster than normal. It didn't though, it's just, we, we took more time shooting birds. The prison has no use outside of GT Online. What are you talking about? The prison has Brad in it. The prison is keeping Brad safe. And it was where Stretch was before he uh, got released. Has so much purpose in single player. Kappa. <laughs> okay. Check for cougars. Two bunnies. Two cows. Cougars are so rare, I can't believe we saw two. Oh, what? Oh my god. What are you gonna do? What are you fucking gonna do? Try to run away. <laughs> okay, maybe they're not as rare <laughs> as I suggested moments ago. The game is just laughing at me now, trying to make me look stupid. <laughs> Happy I stayed in the car for that little while longer. Hopefully that decimation of that cougar will lead to uh, future cougars being scared away. Peter will be sending me a very stern letter for killing that cougar. I mean, Peter kills like millions of animals. They're gonna be like, good job, man. You, you totally killed that cougar very well. Do you want, uh, like, the CEO position? And the answer is no. I do not want the CEO position of Peter. <laughs> Who is Peter and why is he killing animals? No one likes Peter. It's... But the meme of... Whenever you kill animals. Oldest time. Uh, like, even Gus Johnson made a video on them. Like, uh... Like, when... When Steve Irwin was killed by a stingray, Peter was like, Yeah, good on you, stingray. Fuck that Steve Irwin guy. Yes, I'm aware you can guess all the bullets at once by pressing a uh, spacebar, but I'm not going to. Why? Because I don't like you. What do you do about it? Do you ever wish you could turn back time? No. There's not a single thing in the entire history of my life that I'd want to change. I have no regrets and nothing bad has ever happened to me. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> Nice. Didn't even hit my hand, just hit my face. Well, 
Them's the breaks, chat. Them's the breaks. Guess I'll start another run. Won't be as good the sex. Uh, the sex won't be as good the second time around. How do you feel about time travel now? Hello and welcome to a run where I didn't start the timer. It is not going to be the last time I do that, but this is one of those times. Such a dumbass for standing in the open after Brad got claps. Yeah, man. It's almost like it was a setup. Who are you trying to impress? Your Auntie Denise. He fly. Do I like any foreign movies? Yeah, a lot of movies made in America, you know, that foreign country. I like a lot of those. Uh, it's a thing called Hollywood or something. Like, it's kind of a weird place, so I hear. But uh, they make some good movies. I thought she was making bank. Of course I'm making bank, Tanya. How could I possibly afford to take you in such a magical ride like this taxi without a lot of money? So with this fight with Simeon, um, you may have noticed when you're watching Pacifist, Simeon becomes passive if you leave the store. People in chat recommended to me that I should just not fight Simeon legit, but I liked the meme of fighting Simeon. But given how many times I've failed against Simeon now, I will do this correctly and just move outside the store and make him passive. And then he backs down. I want to get a little bit of speed here. Okay, so I knock him down. It's somehow a little less fun. It's funny because in my collab I did yesterday with uh, TGG, Sunny, and Modest Pelican, I won the fist fight. Like, I decimated everyone. And the reason was because how many times I first Simeon. <laughs> Like, you think challenging an old man to a fist fight ain't gonna have benefits, but it does. <laughs> nah. It's more fun than getting hit by a simian? True. But how many times has that happened? Like four. Let's be real. So I, I definitely should have uh, given up doing that. Honestly, doing that fight again like I did on passives would have been pretty nice. You know how I like knocked him over into stuff and ran on his body and stuff and good times. I've stealth killed this guy so many times, and as I always say, I have nothing interesting to say in this situation. Hello everyone on YouTube, thank you for watching the video, and uh, I hope you enjoy this small scene that has to be in the video, because it's an important part of the game. By a dead person. <laughs> I liked how many people got timed out for saying hi YouTube, and but other people who knew about the timeout thing just said hi. <laughs> we found a loophole in the system. I mean, I, was, I wasn't specifically saying hi to YouTube, Mr. Duff. I, I was just saying hi to my friend, this other guy in chat. <laughs> uh, you smart, chat. You smart. Boop. Again, I have nothing to say here, chat. This guy's dead now, and I'm taking this car. I could shoot open the back and just take the thing, but I'd rather just take the car. It's kind of funnier. It is humane. Not really. How dare someone text message me during a live stream? Don't they know I'm with the most important people in the world? People who watch me on Twitch? <laughs> Shall I kill the bird, chat? Think I should let it go? See, I asked two questions, and you all said no, so uh, you're probably saying no, I shouldn't kill it, but it now sounds like you're saying no, I shouldn't let it go. So, I'll do what you ask, chat. You did say no, I mean... <laughs> okay, a lot of you did say kill as well. God damn it. <laughs> Look out for cougars? I can't believe there was actually a cougar last time. I see two rabbits and two cows, three cows, but no cougar. It's very fortunate that they growl, honestly. I hear you can now steal a panther statue or something in online. What's the significance of that? Just more money? Oh. So little do I know about GT Online. My respect for it has gone up, learning that there's no cougars there. <laughs> so a change I'm making here, rather than chucking grenades out the window, I'm moving away from the window and just ignoring the first two guys, which are the main guys that can kill me. Because this is where I lost my last run, actually. 
I've lost a run four or five times to these guys, I think. I don't think they're even within range immediately, but I'm just going to put on ult strat anyway. To be a little bit safe. So you can just take them out while they're in cars, but they still can't shoot me. I don't think I got them all. Not barely any. But Chef will take out whoever's left. I can also kind of help by chucking some grenades. Okay. So Chef will take out that remaining extra guy there while I kill these guys here. He might take a while to get here though. Uh, the next section won't progress until he gets here. Basically like what we did in uh, Pacifist here. Just relying on Chef. He was actually quite strong. Okay. Crap, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is bad now. Wasn't in my normal s st sitting spot. So I'll just let Chef kill him then. Actually, better idea. Um, I should just kill Chef. Much easier. They ran the gates. We gotta deal with them. Go oh, since that's all exploded, I have to wait until Chef kills these guys. Trevor, help me out. The pacifist memories. Shame I can't watch that. I need some help right now, T. Now you're fine, Chef. So I guess I already have. Oh no, I didn't get the gun. Okay. Yeah, just like normal. I think... Because I was in a different spot before. I think I clipped the guy's bike last time. Okay. The fuck? Might have been my worst attempt at this mission that I've ever had, but at least I lived. I'm beyond caring about the quality of the uh, the missions themselves. I just want to get through it. There's one guy here who can hypothetically shoot me before I can shoot him, and there's another guy there who can hypothetically shoot me before I can shoot him. It's unfortunate, but it doesn't happen very often. It's, uh, it's very rare, but it does happen. You have the option to rapid fire, um, but because there's a distance between your bullets, it's possible for him to move between your rapid fire. Uh, also, firing around enemies does activate them faster. Um, so uh, holding and actually aiming and shooting, I don't think is better or worse than just rapid firing, um, from my experience. Um, I've died in both cases. Just uh, another day of getting unlucky, I suppose. Yo, made a mistake, chat. I ate an Oreo McFlurry. Tasted good when I was eating it, but now, oh, mistakes. Hello and welcome to my death counter being incorrect, so I have to start again. <laughs> So I'm skipping over the snow here to the right to put some distance between me and the roadblock because those guys have guns and that's kind of mean. Imagine shooting someone. How rude. Oh, it's gonna explode. What? Uh... Didn't explode? Okay. Maybe because the scene was over, the whatever scripting exists to blow up the car doesn't exist? Very weird. <laughs> yeah, I hesitated so long there. I'm like, I've been here before, game. Lamar, please. It wants my face. And precedent sa says that uh, I will take it at some point. Where do you- are you asking where do I think this run will die? I never know, because it's always unexpected. It's always RNG, the strats op optimized to the max. So there's a big difference between RNG and just not knowing about something. Well, I guess it's, it's a little bit of RNG, but like, for example, Cougars, right? 
uh, I was unaware that cougars could be in Mr. Phillips and could attack me there. Had I known this, and as I know it now, haven't been caught out by it since. Trial and error. Honestly, that is a lot of what challenge runs are, and speed runs are as well. The advantage with speed runs is usually there's so many people doing runs that eventually everything gets seen. So what I'm saying is I'm going to be cloning myself. <laughs> That line from Thanos, fine, I'll do it myself, but there's like 50 of Thanos. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch, for a thousand bits. How are you not cold at the moment? Uh, so uh, I'm not at a low temperature, and therefore I don't feel cold. Science. I got that song stuck in my head. I'm sure you've heard it somewhere. What you know about rolling down in the deep, you know? Yeah, that song. It's a good song. It's irritating as fuck. Yeah, I guess it could be. <laughs> Let the man sing. Uh, when I give my clips to Couch, to have him look over them, I'm always surprised when he's like, oh yeah, so there's like 10 clips of you singing. I'm like, I don't think I sing that much. But apparently I do. Maybe I've just got music in my heart waiting to get out. Maybe I should quit and become a professional singer. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, Dark Viper A. Certainly I didn't play, uh, you know, single player shooters when I was younger. GTA 5 might have been, like, my first single player shooter that I ever finished. As I say frequently, I never expected that this would be the game that I play and spend my time on. But it just gripped me. But God did I suck at this game when I first started. And some would argue nothing has changed. <laughs> so we're doing something new with Simeon here. Basically just the thing from Pacifist where I go outside so he uh, becomes passive. You will be treated how I want to treat you. See? I wasn't running. I was tactically retreating. For unlimited money in GTA Online, PC just use a cheat engine. I mean, cheat engines I don't think work for online. Cheat engine is usually a pretty simple way of modding the game that I'm sure would get captured. Cheat engine works for online? That's surprising. That's pretty bad on Rockstar's part. Unlimited money in GTA Online is easy, just use your parents' credit card. True. It's not really theft, because eventually that money would be yours, right? Because you inherit it one day, so it's it's basically yours now. <laughs> ah, bike riding. I haven't done this in real life in like a thousand years. Do kids still ride bicycles, chat? Yes? Huh. In the same way that I would look weird building sandcastles, despite that I love it, man. I think if I uh, got myself a bike and I was just like flying down hills being like, Wee! I think people would, uh... Look at me strangely. Do a live stream of that? God, that'd be a pain in the ass to set up. I'll hire someone so they can record me. And I'll be like, hey chat, look at this sick trick that I learned. And I just start... <laughs> and I'm so happy you can't take damage from that. Why does that happen sometimes? Like you run off there the exact same way every time. There must be like some pixel where if you're slightly too far to the left, he just falls. You can definitely take damage here in the water, it just must not be high enough. Can cougars swim? Presumably. I know Jesus can't swim. How am I feeling today? Uh, the general all over body pain. You know how it is. Don't most people go to bed at 7am and wake up at 2pm? That's like a common thing, right? No, that's not common, really? Oh man. Do I play any sort of instrument? Is mayonnaise an instrument? If so, yes. I do eat mayonnaise sometimes. Thoughts on lunch? Ah, I can do without it, really. I am a person who eats one meal a day. I don't conform to your weirdo ideas of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Invented by the food industry to make you eat more. You're kidding me, dude. Oh. He, he didn't care. That is the first time I've seen a cop car appear there and not care about my theft. 
I guess this car is such a shitbox that they're like, look man, just take it. You're probably doing the guy a favor. The benevolence! You like my outfit today? Thank you. Trying to change it up a little bit. This is a dark gray rather than a black. Type 1 to kill the bird, type 2 not to kill the bird. Okay, well, I, I, I can't tell how many of each number is being um, typed. So I'll just, uh... I'll kill the bird assuming you want me to do that. Because <laughs> when you think about it, 2 is just two ones, Meaning people who type 2 just really wanted 1. So much so that they did 2 of it. It's impossible to defeat GTA 5 without taking damage because Lamar versus you so hard. <laughs> True. The mental damage, man. Unavoidable. Clear should put a qualification that this is just the physical damage. So keep a lookout for this bloody cougar. We've now seen three times. See, a, what's that? Three rabbits and two cows. They do growl to give away their uh, their presence, just like in real life. I'm so glad Dark Viper is here to teach us the name of animals. They don't call me Dark Viper, Master Educator for nothing. <laughs> it's an educational stream, chat. Did you know that there's a YouTube channel called Dark Viper AU who makes amazing content? You should totally subscribe to it. This is the most valuable education you'll ever receive. <laughs> No way! You are some kind of bodybuilder, right? Yes, the kind that does no bodybuilding. I'm that kind of bodybuilder. I'm also the kind of baker who does no baking. You know? The kind of golfer who does not play golf. How much do I bench? I can fit a lot of things on a bench. Like, all the shopping that I purchase can fit on my bench. It's pretty good. Typical man exaggerating how much their bench can handle. <laughs> What are my thoughts on 2020 by Logan Paul? I'm so happy. I have no idea what that is. Ah. I, that's terrible. There's a guy now stuck behind there. This guy doesn't like to move. Is that in there? It's like the one guy you don't want to, uh, let go. Uh, I don't think I can get an angle at this, uh, fuel tank from here. I wonder exactly where he stands, though. In a way, it would just be easier to reset. Because he doesn't even like coming when you move close. It's just a very weirdly programmed dude. I don't want to climb over there. I, the, the, any solution is just a huge pain in the ass. He's right there. See? Doing absolutely nothing. Just... He just stands so perfectly that no angle can get him and that box is just so perfectly situated. That was scary. Um, once you've... Uh, once there's only one guy left, the range that you have to be close to Ron uh, reduces. And so I was about a pixel out there. So I have to do all that again now. Hooray! Let's make sure to get this guy this time. I might even ignore the first two guys. Just to make sure I get that guy. There's other two guys you can get. Yeah, so there's one guy on the left. So I have to move up and attract him. He blends in really well. Wonder where he is. Nothing is ever simple, is it, chat? He still didn't appear. Where the fuck is he? I'm tempted just to fail again. It's way further than necessary. And he still hasn't appeared. I don't understand. Guess I'll have the mission fail again. I've, uh... Very unlucky to have two different things like this happen. In a row. What can I say? Round three. Fights. See, because Ron isn't speaking, you know there's two more guys. One guy, the guy I have to track here, and another guy inside. 
Maybe after a mission fail, it, it works differently? What the fuck? This game's broken. I've done this hundreds of- there, there, he's over there, you see him? What the fuck was he doing? Why was he that far away? How strange. Never in all my years. Oh, I'm dead. I was lucky. Oh, extra, oh, the extra guy spawned. The extra guy spawned. That is so rare. Okay, while I don't need to do this, uh, just because I'm sure you guys don't like the use of the old strat here, I'm going to do something where I let the cutscene run out uh, so the enemies are further along and I'm just going to turn around. See how they're further along there? They take time to turn around. So at least the run will be a little bit faster. Certainly a faster way to do things. Let's see what these passive military guys have to say today. That's some political statement there, Trevor. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Trevor not a fan of the American military? I want to take this chair. I want to, I'm going to push a chair into that guy, but I can never get a chair there. You ready for an adventure? You like the exciting life? Oh. I'll kill you. You ready for an adventure? Is... Rock and roll! Don't fuck with the fucker! Rock and roll! So this is what I mean. Don't fuck with the fucker! Rock and roll! I shouldn't have kicked. I'm Don't scared now. With the fucker. Rock and roll. He wants to rock and roll. Is he going to prevent... Ah, uh, dude, I need that. Okay. I won't, dude. I, I like that music. I won't. Great, great tunes. Guys just staring at me all judgmental like. Longest couple of minutes of my life. You just give me a minigun already, game? Thank you. Goodbye, guys. Jesus, that was scary. See, they're clearly very weirdly programmed. I'm fairly certain I can take them out for free, but it's, you know, let's not take that risk. Bark and roll. Don't fuck with the fucker. I'm gonna put that as some cheesy motivational quote. Hey, the tanks here again. This is some good RNG we keep getting here. In general, you want to steal tanks away from enemies because there's a small chance they can aggro onto you. That uh, is not meant to happen. Okay. Die, sign. Ha. What did that sign ever do to me? It killed my family. It's true. You can find that on my Wikipedia page. That is beyond annoying. Imagine driving so slowly you get overtaken by a tank. What's the top speed of a tank in real life? They're not that slow, right? 60 to 80 kilometers? Yeah, it's not, it's not slow necessarily. <laughs> You're right though, thinking about it. These cars are actually going kind of slow. Can you imagine we were out in the middle of nowhere driving as slow as these cars are going? I see, thinking about it, I suppose like all cars in GTA 5 move pretty slow. Imagine fighting over miles per hour system. Exactly, man. Miles are garbage. So clearly kilometers are better. Why would you fight on the side of miles per hour in that in that war? Be crazy to. Oh yeah, I'm 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 it's all just jokes, guys. I don't care if you use miles per hour. It's just memes. 
You're pretty sure this is Minecraft? I can't think of a single difference between this game and that game, so, uh, yeah, I guess so. Things that have no differences are the same. Beep. Beep. Davey! How you doing? About as good as can be expected. About as good as can be expected. Hey, I already died once today. Fuel. Whenever I shoot that guy in the head, I always think of Doc Brown grabbing trash and being like, I need fuel. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Shot, dude. So down here, what strat is best just seems to be dependent upon where the helicopter spawns, but you kind of have to commit to something before you start. I'm just gonna go straight for the gray car this time. I'm gonna shoot the four guys like I used to do back in the day. So it's a terrible spawn. I got a black arrow though. How, wait, that just gave me a black arrow? That's fucking crazy. Got lucky, I guess, because it was just barely outside of the range. I really wish that helicopter was more consistent though. I mean, I did like the old strap, but after I got shot in the back of the neck, it just, you know. Clearly the scripting is not going to be perfect for me. No old strap? Nah, there's still a handful of spots. I'd say like four or five I still use it. In the vast majority of spots that I use it, no, I'd say in all of them, you don't need to, but if you can, you may as well, because it does reduce the chance of you being shot. If you have a 1% chance of being shot, why not just reduce it to 0 0.1, you know? Why is Michael wearing the wife beater? I don't know. It is actually a wife beater, it's not a tank top. There is a difference, chat. What's the difference? The amount of wives you beat, obviously. To be a tank, you have to beat a lot of wives. It's like graduation, you move from wife beater to tank top. <sighs> Why was Michael so sad about his family trying to leave him? They all suck. You should just let them leave and start with a younger, hotter woman. Uh, I, I sincerely doubt Michael could get a younger, hotter woman. And he, lo he loves his family to an extent. I underestimate his power. Uh, I mean, we did just see him with his shirt off recently. I mean, that kind of dad bod isn't really appealing to most people. Mike can have you. Look, you can do better than a fictional character. We all can. Maybe not some of you, but most of us can. I'm sorry. Your waifu is a perfectly acceptable, okay? 4D? Are we talking like breast size or... I mean, isn't the fourth dimension time? I remember someone linked a video that was like really condescending, like... You'd probably say this is a 2D image. Well, you're wrong. It's actually a 3D image. Sure, you would normally think of three spatial dimensions, but actually because this 2D image is in a video, it has a third dimension of time. I just like... Okay. Oh, stretch, oh, uh, paint, ah, ah, dying, ah, ah. So the only risky thing in Three's company here is the helicopter that attacks Franklin. The rest of these guys are perfectly scripted. You shoot him down, hopefully in three bullets or less. One shot. Literally one shot. Perfection. Don't normally leave these alive this long. Hopefully it doesn't matter. This is like the max, max, max range of the snap rifle, so the bullets ten, tend to not hit. Have to wait until they get closer. Man, these are taking forever to die, what the hell? It doesn't normally take this long to kill, it takes like three bullets. Why are they dying? What? 
Please die. Hello? There was the, the, that took so long, and so much longer than it's ever taken. I was like, are, are they actually gonna kill Michael and Trevor? <laughs> they, they've never had that much time to do it before. <laughs> that was very weird. Yep, time for everyone's favorite mission, scouting the ports. Killing 31,000 people saves the same amount of oxygen as planting 20 million trees. What? Why did someone calculate that? Was it was it just like some government official? Like, look, I'm not saying that we should, but I just think we should determine how many people we would need to kill to uh, not have to plant 20 million trees. Yeah, but why, why do you want to know the information? No, no reason. I just think it'd be useful information to know. Like, just you know, I'm I'm not saying we should assess it as a realistic option, but just to, just have it there. <laughs> I am out of Pepsi Max, guys. It's over, over there. The world has no meaning, and, and I need Pepsi Max. Have you ever had Farmer's Union iced coffee? Uh, no. But I have never had iced coffee. To my knowledge, anyway. Maybe someone breaks into my house every night and feeds me iced coffee while I'm asleep? It's possible. It's not likely. Random person in chat just starts to sweat. How does he suspect? Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? I just, I just totally tuned out there. Where am I? What year is it? What? Your mum watched you when you did this mission back in 2013? Was she proud of you for your torture techniques? These should suggest you have a bright future in such a career? Son, have you ever considered professional torture as a career? I fully support you in this. Does Mr. K actually leave LS? Oh yeah, he leaves, he flies to Sweden, meets a lovely woman, uh, has uh, new kids, and is happily ever after. It's 100% in the law and not something that I just made up right now. What about his old family? They died in un an unfortunate uh, snorkeling incident. incident. Yeah, look over and I'll see a color in just a moment. I saw green. Green it is. We representing right now. Kicked for idling too long, like we're playing online. Man, you, get what you, give out, Mr. Lowry. you hate online's AFK kick? Yeah, it, it is really quick, and I don't really understand why. Like, would it really be that bad if you let a person stand still for 10 minutes or something? Like, I guess they just wanted to make it as hard as possible for people to idle for money. It's 15 minutes, doesn't feel like it. Go. Triggering Lamar here. You shot Lamar, how dare you? It's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. See, they managed to kill him when I went through. Dude, come on. They hugged each other, dude. I have no idea where he is. Like, I know why I'm bothering with this. Where is he? Right there. And what are the odds of me hitting him? Oh, I got him. <laughs> What color's the cat gonna be, guys? It's orange. Bye bye, Kato. He's running into a wall there. He might not be healthy there. I ran into a wall there. I might not be healthy there. <laughs> so, Hood Safari is a bit of a pain in the ass. I will be doing 
a thing here with um, a buffered ledge grab. Again, technically not necessary, but there is a small chance that I can die um, to a stray bullet at the beginning. And this buffered ledge grab should lessen the chance. It is technically possible to be shot while you're transitioning with a buffered ledge grab, but I think it's less of a chance than uh, normally, because you can't activate alt strat immediately, so you can't use alt strat to stop the um, the bullet. The reason why you can carry a buffered ledge grab through this cutscene is because you end the cutscene in cover. Yeah. At the very least, it's uh, smoother because it doesn't involve ultra. Okay. Whoo! Hello, cops. Bye, cops. Can I just despawn the boat because it's scaring me? There you go. I'm a wizard. And break. Hey, guys, have you heard of Twitch Prime? It's pretty good. I, li I like them. If you happen to have them and you're not using them, I can totally use them. Thank you. Do I do speed? Absolutely, man. All the time. I'm doing speed right now. I'm not so orange. I'm not ever orange. Oompa loompa doopity doo. I've got another puzzle for you. I don't actually. Fuck off. You want puzzles? Go somewhere else. Here we are on Merryweather Heist. Last time I was like, oh yeah, man, I got this, bruh. And then I died. So, uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> the guys in the cars, the main goal is to not shoot the drivers, because if I shoot the drivers, everyone will get out of the cars and shoot at, at me. The longer the cars drive, the more time I have to shoot the guys. It's actually harder than you might imagine to shoot the passengers and not the driver. That's perfect. I didn't get two. I'll wait for it though. It's dangerous. Perfect. As I say, I, I don't understand how I managed to fuck up so much last time. Was it nerves? Like, like every bullet missed by a frame, you know? Like, I miss shots sometimes, but it was just, just out of this world in terms of, my, like, my worst possible shooting. What? Did I shoot him? Did I not shoot him? Hmm. None of these guys can shoot me, so there's no concern here. They can shoot at me, but their bullets can't reach. They disappear. I must be good at CSGO? Nah, completely different shooting. Like a night and day. So we really finna do this shit. We really finna gonna do this shit. Any differences here? Uh, small ones. Um, placing proximity mines on a little bit of a different spot. Because the five that I was placing at the front were not particularly valuable. I can use the extra two to potentially take out some of the other guys. I'm doing it. Yeah. Shoot these guys. Die, please. Thank you. Okay, so like one, two, three somewhere. You can put this here for, you know, the guy kind of gets stuck there sometimes, ages away. You can kind of deal with him there. Put these two here. Crap. Didn't get him, but he didn't get me, so it doesn't matter. He has to set these up first. Just in case a guy climbs up. Yeah, this guy is coming up here. And there's a guy over there, but he can't get an angle on me. So he's climbed up onto the roof over there. Ah. 
I wanted to kill that guy. Well, this is actually very bad. It's in fact terrible. Okay. So yeah, the mine got him there, okay. There's a guy trying to climb up a place I've never seen before. This is very concerning. Why are they all so interested in climbing up to me? Where is this guy going? Can they actually get to me from there? The fuck is going on? This is so weird. I think this is the only way they can get up, and so hopefully they'll both go up here. There is a mine there already, but it's the last mine I have. This is the weirdest I've ever seen this go. This guy right there next to me. This guy will blow up to that. Or not. Not sure why they didn't explode. There's a guy just down there somewhere. Is he climbing up here? Imagine doing this hundreds upon hundreds of times and just never seeing this before. Yep. They, oh, they... How the fuck did he manage to get up there, dude? Maybe it was something about the placement of the proximity mines and enabled that to be possible. I'm just lucky I kept my footing where I was meant to. So now Michael and Franklin can kill people so I can ignore this, but Franklin is very low HP. I'm gonna have the ult strat here with Franklin. It looks like there's someone very close to Franklin. He's on the other side there. It's tempting to uh, have shot a rocket down there, actually. What a very stressful stressful attempt at a blitz play there. And this guy being in this location is quite uncommon as well. I was kind of looking forward to not having to use alt strat here, but what can you do? That one cop in the corner is scary, indeed. But there ain't much I can do about it. Although, to be fair, if I didn't have ult strat, I would have done something about it, you know? It's just that other something is, uh, riskier than just using ult. Look at Franklin's back, he did not have a fun time. <laughs> when acupuncture goes wrong, lol. Look at all these cars on the freeway. Only there specifically to be in my way. Rude. Clearly everyone should be under house arrest while I'm doing these runs. It's only reasonable. Is it unreasonable to say that everyone should just exist for my benefit? I mean, come on now, people. <laughs> the recording is going, the timer is going. I don't think I've forgotten anything. <gasps> Dorito chips! <laughs> Have my jokes become so stale? that I'm now just referencing myself for referential humor. <laughs> you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Let's -a go! Oh, wow! I'm a la wala weed. Yum, I'm gonna win. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Fifth. I know you. He dead. I what? Franklin. Franklin. You must just really like white vans. Wow, a stranger's van? Can I get in? Yeah. What is a no damage run? It's a type of cheese. It does well with crackers and wine. It's been aged over a year, and it makes you angry. So you may have seen in my Facts and Glitches series uh, a fact here where you can beat Rocco with fire, and you can stun him by bringing out a weapon. I didn't bother doing this for a long time, but uh, someone did point out that I did technically fail this in like episode two. Maybe because I made a mistake, I'm not sure, but given that there is a tiny possibility of failure here, I may as well just do that strategy. 
See, he just stuns him immediately. Uh, I can't do this, actually. Shit. I didn't buy him a um, canister, gas canister. I'll go get one. I mentioned the strategy, so I will go do it. Let's hope there's no guards or anything that can kill me here. Because I actually have no idea. Fair enough. The jump was fine. It was just because there were containers down there. And so it disrupted it. That's unfortunate. That's just my life, unfortunately. I've long ago accepted I'm not a very lucky person. And uh, that's just uh, my days. Why am I so careless? I don't think that was careless. The ground was completely empty. The jump was a perfectly fine height. There was no reason to believe Michael would ragdoll there. It was only because there was trash that I could not see. Or because I wanted to do a stupid strategy that's completely unnecessary. I gotta be more careful. You have no conception of how much extra effort I put in to every single frame of this run to avoid failure. You have no idea. There are literally hundreds of strategies that you don't notice that I have to do because I failed in different ways before. I am careful beyond careful. I've seen other runs from other people nowhere near as careful as me. They are put constantly in situations where I have failed for, through no fault of my own and they get by. I am just not a lucky person. I'm so over this. I've been over this for months. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel, it costs you nothing and I wish you all the best.